Your portfolio and gallery pages are a central part of your website as a photographer. And this can maybe look a little bit confusing at first, as you can see, you have a portfolio page, which is the one we see now. And you also have two gallery pages. You have a gallery page and you also have gallery page alternative two. This is made because you have two versions of how you want to present your pictures. You can choose to, choose to use both of them or you can stay with one style just keep with that one but I'm gonna show you now how it all works together and we can start to look at uh, the site how it looks like live and scrolling down here we have this hoover effect over these thumbnail uh, pictures uh, with the name and place of the photo and when you are clicking you are coming to the gallery and then that's the version one and here you have an example of version two the gallery and here you have the sliding one so to have this set up uh, first of all we go in here on the page and we go on the galleries one this all this information is what's seen in this row all these three galleries and if I click here as you remember we have a hoover effect where the name and the place of this uh, session was taken how to add that and the best and easiest way is now I have clicked on this image and now we see it's highlighted here. This is the one. If I then click on this uh, desktop screen, then it disappears. And then there you have the text as is the layer underneath. Then I can change, I can update this text. And once that is done, we can then make the picture visible again. Now we can see the text as that's the layer that is mark next we are going to connect each gallery with each thumbnail so for here we have six thumbnails meaning we are having six different galleries and if we then go back to the side and have a look at all the pages this means that we need to have six gallery pages shown here so this list will be longer you will have six different pages one page for each gallery and this is normal this is exactly how it should be so in order to have make this happen you are clicking now we have two alternatives and the reason is because it's two design alternatives you can choose to keep both and just to have a variation or you can just keep stuck with one if you only want this one or that one no matter it's up to you but the one you want to use you click on that page and then you just click duplicate and to make this as easiest and most organized as possible, I suggest that you are renaming this. So this we can just name as uh, Lucy and Sam's gallery, like that. And then we are saving it like that. And you update all the pictures, the names of the gallery you want to show. And then we are going back to the gallery page and we are going into, sorry, wrong page the portfolio page <laughs> and then we're clicking on this uh, image and now we're gonna link so we are going to go in under click actions here and we are choosing the type of link as a page and then we are selecting Lucy and Sam's gallery this means that when someone is clicking on that gallery and on that picture that gallery will appear the link will go and show them that gallery and that's what you are doing this is something that's gonna be repeated to all these thumbnails so for here you have six then you're gonna have six different galleries showing up here and if you want to add more galleries you maybe want to have nine galleries or 12 galleries then you are going in here and then you are simply duplicating here you have galleries one and two this is one and this is two then you are duplicating the whole canvas so now we got a third one and you do the same thing here. You are hiding the image, updating the text, showing the image back again, going back, creating a gallery page, duplicating it, and then make a link to that gallery. So it's a little bit work, but once it's done, you have a beautiful gallery to show 